everybody, welcome back. Got a treat for you today. Got Clayton here with his 1958 Chevrolet Impala. Now, 1958 was uh, Chevrolet's 50th, actually it was GM's 50th anniversary. And they did a lot of anniversary models and, and came out with a lot of different things that year. One of the things that they did was, this was the first year for the Impala. It's also the first year for quad headlights, the first year for the X-Frame. And in 1958, the two engine choices, if I'm right, I, uh, 283. Yep. And you could get that with the carburetor, or you could get that, and that was the 185 horse version yep. with the carburetor, or you could get the Ramjet fuel-injected version, which was 250 horsepower. Right. right. And the other first for 1958 and Chevrolet was the first year, the big block. And that would have been a 348 cubic inch big block. Yes, I said 348 cubic inch big block. I know to some of you nowadays that you're probably going, what? But a 350 is a small block. Yes. But back in 58, that was the first year. And that was what progressed to... Oh, uh, what did it go from the 348 to uh, 348 to 409 396? Yeah, that's a different engine though. The, the, the 348 was in two different deals. That's right. That was a, that's 348 right. 348 and the 409, and then they actually had a 427. Yep. That came in that same design or whatever but that was mostly that was only for racers the only car i ever saw was a drag racer that had that engine uh, yeah nascar uh when chevrolet came out yeah. with the 427 that was a uh, and came onto the nascar scene everybody was uh holy crap look at the you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah. those guys were fast <laughs> but yeah so anyway it was the first year for the big block um and I did mention the X frame on these. Yeah. Um, and those only ran for a couple of years. Uh, they found out that the X frame kind of had a little bit of a twist to it, and it also wasn't really good for side impact. Right. But it still made for a beautiful car. And w their reasoning behind the X frame was they were able to lower the passenger compartment down onto the frame a little right. bit more and get the car lower to the ground. Right. And 58 was also the first year for coil spring instead of leaf in the rear, correct? Yeah. Yep. So this is a coil spring rear end. Yep. About. And it was the first year for electric windshield wiper. Oh, okay. That was one I didn't Everything know. Everything in 57 and so forth were vacuum. Oh, okay. This difference from a stock, there are some things in here that are not uh, uh, stock per se. The, the grill is not gold, it's aluminum. Oh, okay. I had that anodized to be gold. It goes with this, this it's kind of a maroonish, it's a very dark maroon, like a. Yeah, it's a burgundy kind like, of Yeah, color, I was gonna say burgundy, right? yeah. That's a very pretty color and that gold goes with it yeah. really well. Yeah, and then this down here actually is, 24 karat gold plated. <laughs> ah. There's some trim side, trim uh, features on the car that are gold too that were not gold from the factory they were. Okay. Uh, and then also, I, I, uh, the, the hood hinges oh, the hood are hinges. 24 karat gold. <laughs> That's plated. <laughs> that was when gold was cheap. <laughs> was that was gold ever really cheap? <laughs> well, that's is, pretty neat. This is brass, so this is the, the old original. And the difference in, in the inside is like I changed over to an alternator instead of a generator. Okay. Uh, the generator that was in here was kind of unique in that it had the power steering behind the generator built on the back. So 
the the uh, belt drove the generator or the alternator and the power steering. So I don't have power steering now, but I'm going to do it. They have a kit where you can put on there and then just use the hoses from before and then you'll have power steering. Okay. And also All right, we're going to get you in for a closer look here. Now you want to tell us what you got going on in here? Clayton? Okay. Uh, this is what they call tri-power. Yep. This is the first gear they came out with that also. Their hot rod type thing before has always been fuel injection. Yep. But they came out with the tri-power this year it was called. This is not stock Chevrolet carburetors. These are actually carbure Pontiac carburetors that are off of the 421 HO engine, which okay. is a, was a, a big Pontiac uh, horsepower engine back in uh, whatever year that was. I don't remember, 77, I think. Yeah, early 70s. They, the GTOs used the tri-power. Anyway, yeah, they're bigger than Chevrolet carburetors. So when I had put these carburetors on here, I had to have the manifolds re-drilled, the Ventura holes, and then I also had to make a plate because the base of the carburetor was bigger than the Chevrolet carburetors. So I had to make a plate for that and then installed it, and it all worked good. It actually works real good. Oh yeah. The I engine you. itself is a 348 block with 409 heads. I went to the next generation, you might say, engine for horsepower, and so I got 409 heads, which have much bigger valves than the stock Chevrolet has. Then I also put in a 425 horsepower cam a 409 cam and then uh, to keep things pretty much like 409 i also put 409 exhaust manifolds and exhaust system in the car so uh these are things that uh old school hot rodding tricks that's uh, pretty neat what a hot rodder would do <laughs> yeah 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 i see uh you even got the the chains change to keep the engine be yep. steady or whatever yep so that torque doesn't yep and this car when it came out had the 283 in it and it also had factory air which is i think i don't know if it was the first gear for factory air or not but anyway it, it was put on here but it covered the whole side of the engine yeah very primitive it was and yeah. so I took that out because I couldn't work on the engine with that in the way or I have to take that off every time you did something. And so I took that out of there. I don't have air conditioning now. My idea of air conditioning is 260. Two windows down, 60 miles an hour. There you go. <laughs> okay, so that's about what I did with the engine. All right. So far, I don't think I'll be doing anything more than that. But that's what I did so far. You know, I had a, ter a power glide for transmission, but that's that's only for power glide to rebuild. That's only for drag racers that have uh, oh, I don't know uh, fuelers and so forth. The two-speed power so, glide. Uh, I uh, put in a uh four speed 700, 700 r4 chevrolet engine and uh that's a much more bigger engine or bigger transmission transmission yep. and and uh very I also had it rebuilt not rebuilt i guess but had it changed mechanically so it shifts faster and better as a company in California that was making a kit. And so I bought that kit and had a company in Minneapolis put it in the transmission. And it really is surprising how fast it shifts 
other than the other ones. My my blue 90 that I have has a 700 R4 in it, and yeah. I, I had it built at SoCal Transmissions uh -huh. in San Diego, and it 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 snaps your neck when it yeah. ships. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's it's amazing. Every everybody talks crap about the 700 R4, and yeah, from the factory it was kind of anemic and yeah. it didn't really take abuse very well, but when they're built right. They work good. Very tough. So yeah. Then the drive shaft is stock. The rear end. Is... You didn't have to change the length of the drive shaft or anything. No, no. Uh, yes. What am I saying? I did have to shorten it. You did. Because the transmission is long. <coughs> and then, but then I, they, they, when you get to the rear end, I took the rear end out and put in a Corvette rear end. So I got seven. Uh, 373 gears instead of the 425 gears that come stock or whatever. Holy cow. And then I didn't have pause attraction before as I added the, the Corvette pause attraction also. That's about all I changed for the car as far as mechanical. I've been dying to say this. Let's take a look up under her skirt. Oh yeah. I got some junk in here. <laughs> we'll ignore the junk. Okay, now the uh, seats. Our Cadillac seats are out of a 1981 Eldorado Touring Coupe. And then I took the council and uh, out of the same car. So the front seats are uh, Cadillac seats rather than the bench seats that it came with. And then in the center there, you'll see a bunch of gauges. Those gauges are out of a 1966 Chevy Caprice. Oh, wow. I didn't like the idiot lights they put the gauges in there. And then it's got uh, a B&M shifter. So you can go whoop, whoop, whoop like that, or you can just leave it in gear and, and drive and then step on it. It'll shift down and go that way. Right. Either way. But when you do it, Mechanically like that, you can actually get scratch or get rubber every time you shift. <laughs> That's how fast that transmission shifts. Yeah, they're great with a shift kit. I love mine. So that's about all I did to change it. The uh, upholstery was done by a uh, uh, done uh, by a upholstery shop in uh, New Brighton. New Brighton, Minnesota. Minnesota. And it, the white leather, and then the, the sheepskin is actually Australian sheepskin uh, that they sewed in for the in, in for the the pieces in here and and whatever, and in the doors. Yeah. And then I put it all together. It looks beautiful. No doubt about it. Let's take a quick walk around. Now, 58 was also the only year for this particular styling. In 58, they changed the taillights, and they also yeah. changed the, yeah. the front in 59. 59, of course, they went more to the... That more swept... On it. Yeah. yeah. The 50, the 50. The 58 and or 59 and 60 had more fins on it. Yep. Yeah, and they're all good looking if you ask me. I'm kind of partial to the, these Impalas too. Well, I, think I, it's I a love very, the 58s, the 59s. Car. They only did it that one year. Yep. And yeah, these like the some of these. Um, These are only 58. Yep. 
Look at that. It's beautiful. These are the other things that I had gold plated. So much trim on this thing. Yeah. Miles of trim. And then this is kind of unique too. These this is these are actual spotlights, but they also have a mirror that's adjustable mirror, and then you can adjust it by the handle that's here or whatever. And they were only available for about three years. Oh wow. And when I got this car, uh I wanted these because I had these on my original 58 Chevy that I had when I bought new. So I wanted them and we found them one year at, at uh, uh, back to the 50s car show. Okay. They have a swap meet thing yep. there or whatever. And we found those, these two spotlights my kid bought nice. and uh, bought them for me. But I think that's unique. It just looks like it's made for the car. Do you know what year you got this car? Uh, 1979. 79 you got this yeah, one. Yeah, I bought it from a guy in Truman, Minnesota. He, he had gone to Arizona and he bought two of them. He had a turquoise one and this, not this car, but one. Yeah, this car was white when I bought it. I like the burgundy better. Oh God, yeah. <laughs> but I would, I, it never changed the color on this car as long as I own it. Somebody else gonna, gonna do it, I don't think they will because I've never had so many compliments on the color of the car and what is that color? Where did you get that color? No, How it, can you get that color? It fits very well. Oh yeah. All right. All right, here we go. Since you guys can't be in the car with us, we're going to take you with this way. Oh, yeah. See what I mean by just that little bit there, how that makes the front end bounce. Uh, yeah, I feel there's a seat bolt missing over here, too. <laughs> kind of helps with the, yeah. uh, in the back of the seat. <laughs> But it's because it's a heavy car, it's, it's a dream to drive. It's just, oh God, I tell you, I can't get enough of driving it. I'll bet. I'm jealous. What a great car. Just want to give a big thank you to you, Clayton, for showing us your beautiful 58. I like to show it. Oh, maybe we should go and you can see all the trophies I've won. <laughs> oh, if I didn't have to get ready for work. <laughs> but I sure do appreciate it. Okay. Yep. It, was, no it was definitely a pleasure. Uh, 
getting a step back into 1958. And... That's what everybody says when we go, when I do go to a car show. That's, if wheels are 58, they're not, aren't made in 58 or whatever, but they're the same wheels that were available in 58 and so forth. And so they say it's just like going back in history. With a little old school hot rod and thrown in. Gotta love it. Well, thank you again, sir. Yep. You're welcome.